in this video we are going to see about some terms which are defined with respect to kmax simplification and we will consider an example and we will see what is meant by 2 adjacent square 4 adjacent square 8 adjacent square and 16 adjacent squares so first let's see pair group of two adjacent min terms that is called a pair a pair eliminates eliminates one variable in output expression group of so pair is a group of two adjacent min terms that is for example m4 m5 a pair eliminates one variable in output expression so next one is quad group of four adjacent min terms group of four adjacent min terms for example m m not m2 m4 m6 a quad eliminates two variables a quad eliminates two variables in output expression next one is octet group of eight adjacent eight adjacent min terms so that is for example m0 m1 m4 m5 m8 m9 m12 m13 an octet eliminates an octet eliminates three variables in output expression three variables in output expression the next final term is redundant group redundant group a redundant group is a group in which all the elements in this group are covered by some other groups a redundant redundant group is a group in which all elements in which all the elements in this group are covered by some other groups so we'll see an example m0 m1 m3 m2 m4 m5 m7 m6 and then m8 m9 m11 m10 m12 m13 m15 m14 these are the things suppose if i am marking once here just i'm assuming this for example purpose only like this so if you have like this you can see here this makes it quad and this is a pair this is a pair this is a pair this is a pair if you see this the four min terms which is m5 m7 m13 m15 which are forming a quad 
so they are already involved in other groups like the, the m4 m5 m5 is involved in this pair m7 is involved in this pair m15 is involved in this pair m13 is involved in this pair such type of groups which are already which in which all the elements in this group are covered by some other groups that is called as redundant group so this is redundant group g1 and this is a pair g2 again this is a pair g3 this is a pair g4 this is a pair g5 and this is a quad so this g1 forms a quad quad but the, all the elements in this quad are already covered by this group the g2 g3 g4 g5 that's why it becomes a redundant group so fun a final output expression contains only product four product mean terms instead of five terms here we have five groups but as it one of the group is redundant group so final output expression contains only four product terms instead of five terms the final output expression contains only four product terms instead of five terms